All right, guys, I'm almost 100% sure I finally figured out how to solve the A2P issue. If you're using Go High Level and you're trying to onboard clients right now, you know what a shit show A2P has been for like the last three weeks. So all I can say is we went from getting pretty much no numbers verified to getting eight or nine uh, numbers verified in the last 24, 48 hours with this new method of actually doing A2P. It is literally the most unbelievable thing and honestly has been an issue ever since I started working with Go High Level. But um, that being said, I really hope this helps you guys. All of my students are having issues with this. Uh, I'm having issues with this. Um, so just understand if you're having issues with A2P, which you probably are, don't feel stupid because literally every fucking person and their mom is also having issues with A2P. It's ridiculous. So let me just show you guys exactly what um, I did to actually fix it. Like I said, we've got nine or 10 numbers verified. I hope this works for you guys as well. So obviously come here to the trust center phone numbers. Now I want you guys to have another tab open here with whatever whatever uh, company you're trying to verify. Obviously this is a test account. As you can see, it says fuck A2P right here because of how gnarly it's been for the last 48 hours trying to figure this out. So this is gonna be like a real website, but a lot of the information I'm using is just fake info, but I'm just gonna submit it for you guys just so you can actually see what it looks like. So really quick, this is probably the most important thing. I actually have the three steps here. Um, you have to make sure that all the information in here is correct. This is this is probably the issue for 90% of you. If somebody signs up and gives you the wrong EIN number, if somebody signs up and gives you the wrong legal business name, if somebody signs up and gives you the wrong phone number or email that that business was registered with, it's not gonna work. Same thing with the actual physical address up here. So um, let me actually just make sure you guys can see this properly. Okay, cool, you can, perfect. So. If they give you the wrong address here or the wrong city, any of the information here is wrong, the A2P is not gonna go through. So how do you deal with this? Well, basically what you can do is you can tell the client like, hey, I need to make sure this information is correct. So I have my success manager calling them and verifying that everything they gave is correct and it actually matches what's officially on their business form. So if you don't know what that means, you can just come here and Google CP575 form and this is what it looks like. But if they're unsure of any of this information, this is the form they can look at, right? So this is just obviously an example from Google, but you can see right here, here's their name, here's the actual company name, here's the address they registered with, here's the official uh, IEN number up here. And this is like all the official, official information. So this is what they need to get you if they don't know it offhand. But a lot of guys, when you have an LLC or S Corp or whatever, they'll usually have this information inside you know, somewhere. Usually people are pretty good about having it. Um, unless it's like a one man show or they don't have an LLC or something. So not the end of the world, but this is the, what you would do if they don't know the information or they don't know how to find it. Once again, CP575 form. So once we know that this stuff is correct, then we can actually start to register the, um, register the brand. So I'm gonna go ahead and click start registering now. And obviously I'm gonna use some fake info here, but it's all the same. Um, let me go over here. So is the business registered in the US and Canada? Yes. And just so you guys know, um, if we've been trying to get people A2P verified without an LLC, pretty much completely unsuccessfully. So if they don't have an LLC, you're a little bit screwed. That being said, one LLC can get up to five A2P numbers. So if you wanted to use your own information, you know, you could, or another client's information, you did not hear that from me. I've never done it. This is not legal advice, but you possibly could. Um, so let's do this. Let's click continue business details. So uh, legal name, make sure that's correct. LLC. That's perfect. Business type, uh, um, IEN. Here's the IEN number. Make sure this stuff is correct. Once again, we're just going to click continue. All of this stuff should pull directly from here. So that's fine. As long as this is good, but make sure that this is good as well. Okay. So let's click continue again. Make sure all of this matches the LLC. And by the way, you could just get this, you know, once you sign someone up, just have them fill this out in like an onboarding form or something. Let's go here. All of this again has to match the LLC. Let's click continue. This is good. It's gonna cost us $23. I'm gonna click I acknowledge, hit continue. Now, uh, we're always gonna hit low volume. I don't know why that we've tested both. Low volume just works way better. So for the use case, let's go back over here and let's scroll down. Where is it? So right here. So campaign details. So we're just going to control copy this and I'll get this document to you guys as well. So you have it. So use case, this campaign will send automatic tests to customers who uh, call insert business name. The business name is going to be, what did I say it was? Where is it? Uh, I should just remember that. 
Elado's demolition. So put it in here. Let's go back here to call and business name. Uh, it says to call those number demolitions, put an S on here number. If there is no answer, uh, this campaign will also send follow-up messages to clients we have worked with, asking radar services, blah, 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 blah. And then we want to insert the website URL. So you need to make sure that you have an active website here and actually insert this website URL. So here it is. And there's a couple of things that I'm going to show you that are super, super important when it comes to the opt-in messages here. Super important. And it all has to do with this terms and conditions page right here. You need to make sure that this website is linked to an actual domain. So right now, this is going to be sent to a real person when they try to verify the number. So if they come here and this website's not live, it's not going to work. And what you need to make sure you have is some kind of an opt-in form here with a terms and conditions page right here and a privacy policy right here. And we need to make sure that they actually link to real pages. So privacy policy right here, and they need to link to real pages. And the way that you can do this, I'm just going to show you, we're going to go to sites. We're going to go to forms right here to, um, wait, this might not be right. Hold on. It is the website form. Sorry. Let's go here. And we're literally just going to click in this box here. And then right here, I'm going to select this. And you would just click these three dots right here. And you just click this. And then this is going to allow you to hyperlink this to the actual terms and conditions page that you need to write them. They have to have a terms and conditions page and a privacy page. And the wording for this looks just like this. And I'll let you guys uh, copy this in a sec. Uh, actually, I'll just put it on the Word doc. So you can actually just copy this exactly. I'll let you pause the video right here if you want it. But this is the messaging that you would actually put on the form. Delete that for now. Let's actually get back to doing the registration. This is super, super important, guys, because they're going to ask for a screenshot of this. And we have to make sure that we screenshot it correctly. Um, and we have to make sure that these actually link to real pages as well. So let's go back over here. That's good. Um, let's actually use the website name. We don't need home. So we're going to control copy this. And we're going to put it right here. So website URL that. There we go. Uh, and then the terms and conditions, blah, blah, blah. You already have the messaging for that. So again, for message sample one, I'm going to come back over here and let's use this message one. There we go. Let's go back. Uh, we don't need that to say message one. Hey, Jake, sorry I missed your call. Please visit our website for more information. Once again, you guessed it. We're going to link the website. We want them to. We want to make sure that they know that our company is legit as hell. I will call you back shortly. Uh, owner's first name. Um, so I think, what's our owner's first name? Elado. So again, think about this. There, a real person looks at this, right? So we want all of this stuff to link up perfectly. So Elado with business name. Let's go back up here. I probably should remember this at this point, but I just want to control copy it to make sure I get it right. Uh, business name. And then reply stop to unsubscribe. Super basic. Let's go to message two over here and let's go back to message number two. Uh, and again, you guys can pause the video and just uh, copy the messages. I'll put the document below for you as well. Hi, Anna. Apologies for missing your call. You can find more details. I'm not going to go through this whole thing. I'm just going to type insert website. Again, you should know this. Same exact thing we just did. First name at business name. The exact same thing we just did here. We're literally just giving them more details, right? That's, that's all we're doing here. Um, and you guys can take the messaging from, um, from what I just copied. And then actually, I realize you actually have to submit something. So let's go continue. Now, how do leads ca slash contacts cons consent to read? Uh, how do leads slash contacts consent to receive messages? This is probably the other place where people mess up and don't get their numbers verified. This is super, super important. So again, let's go back over to here. And how do contacts receive messages? This is it right here. We're going to click this. And we're going to just control copy it. Again, here's the messaging. They opt in by visiting the website. Again, I'll just do this for you guys. But you basically get the gist. This is honestly the easy part. Like the easy part is, is inputting this information. This is not hard. The problem is, is having this all correct on the back end. That's literally, that's that's where the issue is. Um, there, for the details, blah, 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 blah. Um, additionally, end users can also click start to business phone. I forgot that. So 
this business phone is going to be whatever number that they that they register their business with, right? So it's probably their personal mobile device. That's what you would put here. Uh, you'd you'd put that right in this box. Um, same thing as well. And then obviously make sure that there's opt out language here. So let me show you that. So we'll go out here. So opt in message. Let's go back. Boom. Opt in. You have successfully opted in to receive notification promotional SMS from again company name. I'm not going to put it in for you guys. You guys know it already. Company name. Please stop if you need to opt out in the future. This is what opt out language is right here. So you need to make sure that there's always a way for a, a customer to opt out. Otherwise, it's super illegal, right? Now, I believe sometimes they ask for a screenshot if you're doing um, toll free registration. So let me just show you what I would actually do. I would come here and then I would hit, I just switched to Mac. So uh, I would do this and I would take a screenshot. Make sure that you have the URL up there. And I would actually do this entire thing. And then I would take the screenshot. Um, and just so it's super, super clear, I would come over here. And I would mark this up. And I would basically just circle this. I don't know why that's half circled. And I would circle this over here. And I would do a big arrow so these motherfuckers at the A2P place don't miss it. Right? So that's literally what we've been doing to register A2P. I cannot stress this enough. If, if I could get out of this, that'd be cool. Um, and then by the way, you just click submit. I'm not going to submit this because um, this is all, a lot of this is fake information. I can't reveal this guy's freaking private info to you. Um, but uh, let me go back over here. If this information is incorrect, then it's it, it's just not going to work for you guys. That's, that's the biggest issue by far. It's the opt-in. So making sure that this contact form is set up correctly in these link, that's the second biggest thing. The first biggest thing is actually making sure that you get the legit, correct information that they register their business with. I really hope this helps. That's it, guys. Good luck. Let me know if it works. It's really been working for us. And uh, yeah, man, freaking fuck ATP. Let's get it.